how to drop ship from AliExpress to eBay, the full A to Z video guide. Whether you have no experience, little experience, or even if you have a lot of experience drop shipping from AliExpress to eBay, but are still not making enough sales and profit yet, this video is exactly for you. It's jam packed with information, so stay tuned. We have so much coming up, everything you need to know and implement from the supplier to have good success while dropshipping on eBay. Watch this quick intro and let's begin. Hello everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And as I've mentioned, this video is going to go over AliExpress, how to use them as a supplier, what's so good about them, and how we can actually make some great sales and profit along the way. So whether you are new to the dropshipping industry, or you've already gotten started but are looking for more sales and profit to be made, this is the video for you. One second before we start, if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on the latest and best suppliers and marketplaces videos, product finding, and so much more great stuff that we have going on. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So let's begin. What is AliExpress for those who don't know? AliExpress is a sister site to Alibaba. First, we had Alibaba which is a great, huge site with lots of third-party Chinese sellers. And at the end of the day, you'd log into that site, buy a whole bunch of inventory and start to sell the inventory that you bought, which means you cannot order only one or two units. And then a very successful Chinese businessman named Jack Ma created AliExpress. And the main difference between AliExpress and Alibaba is that on AliExpress, you can also buy them in singles. So on one hand, you may be paying a little bit of a higher price, but again, we're talking about Chinese products, which are cheap. And the biggest advantage is you don't have to hold it in stock. You don't have to buy the inventory. You can ship them out one by one to your customers when you get orders, which makes dropshipping the perfect business model to work with AliExpress. In the beginning, it was all about Chinese sellers who were selling to end customers. But in time, AliExpress noticed that most of their orders are coming from dropshippers. AliExpress since then became a very comfortable platform for dropshippers. And soon I'll show you exactly why and what I mean. So first we had Alibaba where we had to buy stock. Now we have AliExpress where we can buy them one by one and start our dropshipping businesses. And at the end of the day, this business model has been working for years. So now that we're familiar with who AliExpress is, where they came from and what they're doing here, let's move on to the main questions that people usually ask when starting to dropship from AliExpress. Is AliExpress to eBay dropshipping legal? <sighs> what can I tell you guys? Let's put it this way. AliExpress to eBay dropshipping has been going on for years. On one hand, eBay states in their policies that they don't allow dropshipping from retailers and marketplaces and AliExpress is known as a marketplace. But on the other hand, we know that they frown upon it, but they still allow it as long as you know what you are doing. This means that you need to be very customer oriented. The most important thing for eBay is taking care of their customers, who are the people who are buying products from your stores. This means that we need to answer all of our customers' messages, respond to all of the cases and returns and order cancellations on time. And if there's ever any problem with any customer, do the best that you can to sort out any problems without letting eBay intervene. Once eBay sees that you're taking care of your customers, they really don't mind where you're sourcing or buying your products from. So be smart, take care of your customers, treat it like the real business that it is. Now let's move on to the next question that a lot of people ask when they're getting started. Will my customers know that the products are coming from AliExpress? Now, this is a great question. You know that you're dropshipping, which means that you don't want the buyer to know that you are dropshipping or slash and where you are sourcing your products from. So this is a great question and let's address this issue. If you've bought a product before from AliExpress, you may have noticed that when the product arrives in your destination country, you usually receive an SMS stating that the package arrived in your country and in just a few days, it'll be delivered to your door or to your local post office. And in some of these cases, you can see inside the SMS message that the product is coming from AliExpress. 
and in other cases you will just see in the sms message that the product is coming from somewhere in china not specifically from aliexpress and the trigger here is usually what the shipping carrier is that you chose so in most cases if you're going to choose aliexpress standard shipping in the shipping options then most likely the customer will get a message that the product is coming from aliexpress and if you use other shipping services he'll probably not get the message that it's coming from aliexpress but it's not only the shipping carrier all in all, what I want to tell you guys is don't worry about the customer knowing where you ordered the product from. Even if he sees in the SMS message that it came from AliExpress, it doesn't mean that they're going to go right now to AliExpress and see if they can get the product for a cheaper price. Most of the customers do not care where the product came from as long as they got what they ordered. The product is fine. The product description matches. It arrived on time. That's all that really matters. So again, to answer the question, some of the customers will know most of them won't and even the ones that will know most likely will not care now let's get on to the good stuff how do we start working with the supplier how do we find the best selling products how do we start selling and profiting with aliexpress so the first step is to head over to www.aliexpress.com that is their main page and that is what we're seeing here right in front of me the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have an aliexpress account this doesn't cost any money. All you have to do is click the join button like you see over here. Fill in your email address, your desired password, create your account and go ahead and get started. Once you create your account, you can easily sign in. And once we're in, the sky is the limit. So let's get started with the supplier. How do we find the best selling products from AliExpress? How do we find those products that will sell? Let's go ahead and get started with this question. So when it comes to product research, this is one of the most important things when it comes down to your dropshipping business. Product research is one of the things that we need to work the hardest on. And that is because this is mostly what will be the difference between a customer who enters your store and doesn't buy anything to a customer who enters your store and does turn into a sell conversion. So you want to do the right product research. You want to be able to sell the right products that people are looking for right now and want to buy them. The competition does not matter so much and pretty soon I'll teach you exactly why. But let's start off with how to find the best winning products from AliExpress. I want to start with my favorite method, my personally most used method. That is the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. So you can write on Google AliExpress Dropshipping Center and you'll have access as long as you have an AliExpress account. You'll also have a link to it right below this video. So this is what the AliExpress Dropshipping Center looks like. The first thing that you'll notice on the left side is find products to sell. So we're going to click on that. And here AliExpress is going to give me an overview of all of the best selling products that they found recently that have been getting a huge amount of orders. Let's take a look. We got this 2020 smartwatch over here. It's priced only at $5.80. It's already gotten 869 orders. Out of all of those orders, 646 are dropshipping orders, which makes for more than three fourths of the orders are dropshipping orders. I mean, that's just crazy. It shows you what I said in the beginning of this video that dropshippers make for most of the sales. This wasn't always the case, but today it is. AliExpress knows how to appreciate those dropshippers. They want to help us out and they're giving us one of the biggest and best tools for us to analyze the market all completely free at no cost. Needless to say, sellers usually pay a lot of money for analytical tools like this one. So we got the product, we got the price, we got the number of orders, you got the average product rating, the sales performance, and you can analyze the product to check out its sales history, when it started selling and how much when it increased, when it decreased and so forth. So let's click on analyze. And it's the same thing as clicking on product analysis here on the left side, click on product analysis, put in the products URL, and you'll be taken to this analyze section over here. So here's the analyzation for that smartwatch. As you can see, today is April 7th while I'm recording this video. So as we see this product started selling just a little bit towards the end of March, which was just about a week ago. And right now, on april 2nd which was five days ago this product peaked at 100 sales volume so in just one day to reach 100 units in sales and ever since then it went back down again and now it's starting to gradually climb again so this looks like a product with a lot of potential but we're not going to stop after checking our first product this is a great place to find product ideas so what you should do after checking out this watch is head back to aliexpress search up smartwatches 
and look for lots of similar smartwatches to this one. Look for specific features that people are buying and add them to your stores. This is a great way to get product ideas for products that are selling and trending hot right now. And we're going to talk about optimizing the products later. So let's move on with the list to just get a couple of more good examples. This product is called Dropshipping Pearl Shaped Crystal Soil Water Beads. So I want you guys to notice what the seller did over here. This seller is completely relying on dropshippers to buy this product. 50 cents for this pearl shaped crystal soil water beads. And they added dropshipping to the first part of their title. I'm guessing what they think is dropshippers usually search for dropshipping and they want this product to be seen first. And as you can see here, this product got 19,000 orders. Almost 5,000 of them are dropshipping orders and we got the rest of the statistics which we just talked about. On the other hand, it's a very, very cheap item. Here is another good example of a product that I would take the idea right now and start searching for similar products. One of the best things that you can do as a dropshipper is see what's going well and don't copy that same exact product. And even if you do, change the title a little bit, change the pictures, change the product description, optimize it, make it look a lot better for your customers so you can really stand out even with the same products. But what you should be doing when you see a good selling product is look for similar products to that one that is selling. Look for additional or related features in similar products and add them to your stores. That is how you can start your own trends from products that have been proven to work. So use AliExpress Dropshipping Center. This is one of the best places to find hot selling products that you wouldn't have been able to think of by yourself. And again, these analytical tools cost a lot of money at the end of the day. AliExpress spent a lot of money on their developers to develop the system for us. So go ahead and take good advantage of that. An additional method that I would like to talk about for finding the best products to sell on your dropshipping stores and really cherry picking those products that will sell and will make your profit is using a combination of AliExpress's best sellers, their flash deals, and we're going to combine that with a wonderful extension called AliTools, which will help us get the best sellers for our products that have really good seller ratings find similar products to these ones that are selling so we'll have better ideas and better products to sell that others haven't thought of selling yet. And once we combine everything together, it will all work like a beautiful piece of harmony. Let's see exactly how that works. So here we are on AliExpress. What we want to do is check out their flash deals. These flash deals usually last around 48 hours for each product. But first of all, the discounts are huge. You can make some great profit here. For example, these LED lights over here, instead of buying them for $11.70, you can now buy them for $4. So you got an average of 50, 60, and 70% off in the flash deals. And one of the things that I like the best about flash deals is that AliExpress is really putting their best sellers here. They're not just putting out items that are not selling because they know that a little more discount is not going to help. They're actually giving you the products that are trending, that are selling well. And on top of that, they're adding a discount so you can make some more profit. So we know that we have these products and we know that in about 24 or 48 hours, their prices are going to increase again and go back to their normal prices. So why would we want to check out the flash deal section, you ask? Well, the answer is pretty simple. For one, if you do catch a sell here, you're going to make some great profit. But even if you don't, you're going to get these product ideas and you're going to take them and expand them with the Ali Tools Shopping Assistant. So the Ali Tool Shopping Assistant is an excellent extension to add to AliExpress when you're doing your product research. And let me show you exactly why. Simply search up Ali Tools on Google or use the link right below this video to go straight to this page. Now let's check out these LED strip lights over here. And once inside the product page here on the bottom, we can see the extension. So once I click on it, you can see all of the features that it has starting with the price history. So here you have a price history for this product, when the price increased, when it decreased, and when that happened. So this is a good indicator for when is a good time to buy this product. Today at $6.16, it's the average price. Sometimes it drops down to $3.42, probably on flash deals, but sometimes it even raises to eight and a half dollars which is not a good time to buy this product because we know that it can go lower. But this is one of the features that this extension has. Now, if we're going to click on the seller, as we can see, we have a 94% average grade for this seller. And what that means is the Ali Tools extension is rating this seller 
based on the seller's performance. Now you can already get some seller performance when you're gonna hover on top of the seller, like you can see up here. So we know that the seller has been here since April 14, 2020. And here's his average feedback from the customers. But down here we can get a much more in-depth information of what's going on with the seller and why and if we should work with them. For example, let's see what we got here. 94% reliable brands for sale. Buyers are satisfied with the seller's communication. So you know that if you're going to reach out to the seller, he's going to respond to you and he's going to respond on time. The products from the seller match their description. So whatever you see on his store, that's exactly what you're going to get. And the seller ships quickly, which is very, very important for AliExpress. We're going to get to that soon. Some of the cons that the seller has, the seller has been active on the platform for just a little more than a year, just like we saw up here, April 14, 2020. Today's date is April 7, 2021, while I'm recording this video. So he's been here for just about a year, and the Ali Tools is looking for sellers that have a little bit more experience than that. But because he's been here for already a year, and it's not just a month or two, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so quick as to disqualifying this seller. Another con, 5% of the buyers are dissatisfied with the products from the seller, which is actually a really, really low number. So the pros definitely outweigh the cons here, and I would definitely go with this seller based on this rating that I'm getting from Ali Tools. So that's another very helpful feature. Next, you have your product reviews, and here you're going to see customer photos from people who actually bought this product, and they've posted their reviews with the photo of this product. So what you can do here is take these photos and add it to your product description. This way you're going to stand out more than your competitors who are selling this exact same product because they are not taking these photos. And that's another great feature that we're gonna have over here. Differentiate yourself from the competition, use those photos, stand out more, make more sales. Next, you have the similar feature. And this is one of my favorite features on this tool. Because when you find a bestseller like this one, you, as you can see, it has over 30,000 orders, almost 10,000 reviews, and a 4.7 average rating. This is a great product to sell, but it may be saturated. Even if it is, you can optimize your product page to make it stand out. Like for example, I just talked about using customers' photos on top of the regular photos that you're getting from your supplier and more things that I'm gonna talk about soon in this video. So stay here and stay tuned. Regarding the similar products, this is one of my favorite features here. What it's gonna do is it's gonna find a lot of products that are similar to this one that is selling. So every time you find a bestseller, if you're trying to sell it, if you did have luck or if you didn't have any luck selling that product, you can always sell similar products. And this is one of the best advices that I can give to anyone who is dropshipping today. Sell similar products to those ones that are selling. You can still sell products that you see are selling well, like the same exact product, like the one I'm seeing right in front of me right here, Optimize it a little to differentiate yourself from the competition, but look at similar products because here you're going to find rising trends, products that other dropshippers are not selling or are not selling enough, and you will definitely profit from those sales. So similar products, one of the best things that I like here, you can see the products, their prices, how many orders they have, and the seller ratings before clicking on the product listing. And once you click on it, of course, you're going to go straight to the product listing and you can use that Ali tools again, which is gonna pop up in just about a second here. And here it is. So we got the price history for this product, the seller ratings, customer reviews with additional photos that nobody else is using, and similar products that are similar to this one that is selling. So you can continue multiplying your success. So that is another great method to use when you are doing product research on AliExpress to sell on your eBay selling channel. So we talked about using the AliExpress dropshipping center. We talked about using Ali tools and the flash deals, along with checking out best sellers, products that are similar to the ones that are selling. Another way to do your product research is by knowing exactly which holidays are about to come up. So you're gonna have a link to this e-commerce calendar right below this video. And what you have here is all of the holidays that are coming up this year, 2021. Last year, it was updated for 2020. Next year, it's going to be updated for 2022. But this year, of course, it's updated for 2021. So you know exactly what's going on, which holidays are going to come up and which products you should sell for those holidays prior to those holidays to start making those sales. And this is another way to beat your competition. Most dropshippers think about the holidays or know about the holidays only a couple of days before they come up. And on platforms like AliExpress, it is not a good idea, especially when you're shipping from China to US or to worldwide. And that is because the customers are simply not going to get their products on time. So you didn't sell them the right product at the right time. With the e-commerce calendar, that is not going to happen because you can simply prepare yourself on time. 
For example, we have Mother's Day coming up on May 9th. And if you click on it, you'll see which audience you should target and what type of products you should sell. So use the e-commerce calendar to get another edge on your competition. Use the AliExpress dropshipping center, use the flash deals and use the Ali tools shopping assistant to check out the seller ratings, check out the product selling history and also find similar products to the ones that are selling and continue multiplying and scaling your success from there. Those are my favorite methods for product researching from AliExpress and finding those best selling items. Now, of course, there are a few good other methods for product research. We have them on our blog channel. We also have them on our YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep this video short, even though I know that it's not going to be short. Now, keep in mind that when you're adding products to your store, you also have different warehouses that can be shipped from on AliExpress. They ship from China mostly, but also from the US, from the Russian Federation and a few more warehouses around the world. So check out where the product can be shipped from. For example, let's click on this weekly deal over here for these LED lights. And if we just scroll down a little bit, we have the product variations. We have different colors to choose and then you have the ships from. So as you can see, this product can be shipped from China warehouse, from Russian Federation, from Spain and from the United States. So if you're shipping to the United States, you want to keep it domestic, you want the shipping time to be as fast as possible, you're going to choose the United States warehouse. So for this example, if I would choose the US warehouse, choose my variation, choose my color, choose my wattage, I'll get my final price. Estimated delivery time should take about a week and it will be with USPS, which means real tracking information that eBay will be able to track and confirm that the product arrived at its destination to your buyer. So keep in mind that there are multiple warehouses. You need to choose the right one for your customers. And on top of that, you need to stay away from Vero products. Vero products on eBay are products that you are not allowed to sell. I'm talking about things like medicine products, tobacco, firearms, vitamins. And if you're not familiar with these Vero products, you don't really have to worry about it because I'm going to leave a link under this video to check out eBay's Vero page and learn all about the products which you are not allowed to sell. And you have another layer of protection through AutoDS. When you're trying to add a product that is Vero, AutoDS has a large database of Vero products and brands that we know dropshippers are not allowed to resell. So when you try to add a Vero product, AutoDS will stop you and tell you, hey, this product is Vero. Are you sure that you want to add it to your store? And that's where you can stop the product from doing any damage to your store and take care of your dropshipping business. So be aware of Vero products, but know that you have that extra layer of protection from AutoDS. Now I would like to talk about how to configure eBay business policies when it comes to AliExpress's products. So what we're going to do now is set our shipping policies and our return policies to make sure that they match the products that we are selling. So we won't have any problems on eBay and our customers are going to know exactly when they're going to get their products and what conditions they have when it comes to returns and so forth. So let's begin. First things first, let's head over to eBay. That's where we're going to set our business policies. Now what we're going to do is head to our account settings. That's where we're going to have access to our business policies. So here on the top left, account settings. And here below we have our business policies. Now here's all of the policies that we have on our eBay store. So now what you want to do is click on create policy. Now you should already have your payment policy set. This is your PayPal payment policy. If this is your first store, then create a payment policy. But this policy should stay the same whether you're working with Chinese or US suppliers or any other supplier. You want to get your payments on PayPal so long as you're not using the eBay managed payment system. So what you want to do here is create a payment policy called PayPal payments. Make sure that PayPal is checked in. Enter your PayPal email address and you want to require immediate payment when the buyer uses the buy it now option. Then what you want to do is save the policy and that is how you create your payment policy. So whether you had that ready or not, you definitely need to have this on your list of policies. And now let's create our shipping and our payment policies. So again, we want to create a policy and this time we're going to click return. I opened it in a new tab right now, just so we won't lose that tab. Now the policy name is going to be AliExpress return policy. And the policy's name is just for reference, of course, only you are going to be the one who will be able to see it. Now let's scroll down to the conditions in this policy. So first things first, make sure that domestic returns accepted is checked in. After receiving the item, your buyer should contact you within 30 days. 
so we have three options here 14 30 or 60 days we're going to give our customers exactly what aliexpress is giving us so in this case aliexpress is giving us a 30 day buyer protection and that is exactly what we are going to give our buyers so we'll keep it at 30 days return shipping will be paid by the buyer now i would want to go with seller which means free returns for our buyers it will help us rank higher on ebay search engine but since aliexpress is not giving us free returns and we have to pay for our own return labels that's exactly what we are going to give our customers too so go ahead and choose that the buyer will pay for return shipping and in international returns accepted, we are also going to accept international returns because AliExpress accepts them too. Same rules apply here. After receiving the item, your buyer should contact you within 30 days and return shipping will be paid by the buyer. Now let's go over really quick AliExpress's return conditions. If we want to open a return, AliExpress will give us 30 days just like we are giving our buyers like we can see here. And it also depends on why we want to return the item. If the buyer simply regretted his decision and simply doesn't want the item but the item is already on the way or has already been delivered to him, they can still return the item but they'll have to pay for return shipping. Even if the product arrived damaged, in bad condition or not as described, the buyer will still probably have to pay for return shipping, will have to contact AliExpress, they'll probably ask for photos of proof. We're going to have to get them from our buyer, send them to AliExpress, and maybe we will succeed in getting a free return. And then we can roll that free return to the buyer or keep that for our own profits. But either way, there is some work to be done here when it comes to returning merchandise to China. So keep that in mind. But also remember that returns and refunds take up for maybe 1% or less of our total business. So it's not something that we're going to have to deal with a lot. And it really also depends on the products that we are selling and the sellers that we are selling those products from. So that is why we always want to go with high rated sellers and products that have been proven to work. That way we're reducing our returns and refunds and we won't be spending too much time and energy on this. Either way, it is very important to get down the returns and refunds in your business policies and make sure that they are set correctly so we won't be confusing our buyers and everything will simply work much smoother this way. So once we're done setting that, we're going to click on save and our return policy will be created and every listing that we add from AliExpress will be able to choose our AliExpress returns policy. Next, let's create our shipping policy. So back to our business policies page, we're going to click on create policy and this time we're going to click on shipping. So let's go and create our shipping policy right now. The shipping policy's name again is going to be AliExpress shipping policy then we're going to scroll down and now in the domestic shipping we're going to keep it on flat same cost to all buyers and in the services we're going to scroll down and under the economy services from abroad we are going to choose economy shipping from outside the us 11 to 23 business days this is the most suitable policy when it comes to products that are coming from aliexpress and if and when you find sellers that ship their items much quicker than that, then you can use different policies for them. And don't forget that AliExpress also ships from US warehouses and others that ship much faster and the item location won't be coming out of China. So make sure that you have the right shipping policy for each product that you are adding from AliExpress. So products that are going to come from Chinese warehouses, this shipping policy is going to be mostly suitable for them. So we're going to choose once again, economy shipping from outside the US 11 to 23 business days. Then on the right, we're going to choose free shipping. Keep in mind that it's much better to have free shipping on our listings. eBay will make them much higher on their search results. And in the pricing settings of AliExpress on AutoDS, you can set AutoDS to always include free shipping and take AliExpress's shipping price and add it inside the product's price itself. So you can always offer free shipping and make whatever amount of profit that you want on top of that. And now we have the handling time. Now the best handling time to choose is always three days and below. But when you're starting off with AliExpress, you want to start with four business days and you also want to process out your orders as fast as possible. The handling time is how long it takes for you to provide a tracking number as soon as you get an order. So in this case, we're telling eBay as soon as we get an order in up to four business days, we will provide a tracking number. Now, if you can do it in three or two or one, that is great. But first, try out those sellers, see which ones can really ship out their items in under four business days, and then create a separate shipping policy for those fast sellers. 
until then use four business days and adjust that as you go along now another small trick that i like to do is to offer an additional service and this time we're going to choose in expedited services from abroad we're going to go with economy speed pack from china hong kong taiwan 10 to 15 business days instead of the 11 to 23 business days that we just had now what we're going to do is add an additional price that you would like to profit if your customer uses this shipping option and what they will see here is instead of getting their package in 11 to 23 business days they will see that for an added for example 299 they will get their package in 10 to 15 business days now what are we doing here exactly most items are going to arrive to their destination in 10 to 15 business days anyway don't forget that you have another four business handling days on top of that so most chances are they're going to get their package in the total 19 business days that we are guaranteeing that their products will arrive and again if you're choosing a product from a good seller who ships fast this really shouldn't be a problem so what's going to happen here is we're just going to make another 299 100% profit coming out of that so that's a neat little trick that we like to use and it works every now and then always nice to have now let's go down to international shipping and here we're going to choose again flat same cost to all buyers we want to enable international shipping on our listings more people are going to see our listings from around the world and buy these products on the ship to we're going to choose choose custom location next under the services we're going to scroll down select economy shipping from china hong kong taiwan to worldwide the cost will be zero dollars and each additional will be zero dollars so this is free worldwide shipping from aliexpress to anywhere around the world and these are the countries that usually always qualify for free worldwide shipping we're going to start with canada then we're going to choose europe united kingdom germany france japan and australia so these are the chosen countries that have free worldwide shipping from aliexpress to the rest of the world now what we want to do is offer an additional service again choose custom location and this time instead of economy shipping we're going to go with standard shipping from china hong kong taiwan to worldwide and this is going to be the same method that we just did up here which means the customer is going to get the same shipping option but we're just going to profit a little bit more again it's a neat little trick that works every now and then and it's very nice to have so what we're going to do here is add that little extra bonus that we want to have it can be 297 197 99 cents whatever you see fit it's extra profit just don't get too greedy because people will not choose it then in the each additional item let's have them pay another 97 cents now we're going to choose the same countries as above and now we're going to choose an additional service for the rest of the countries that usually are expensive to ship to well not really expensive but aliexpress is going to charge us more so that means that we need to charge our customers more to cover our costs so now what we're going to do once again is choose a custom location and we're going to go back to economy shipping from china hong kong taiwan to worldwide and this time in the shipping price we're going to charge another four dollars and 97 cents aliexpress is going to charge us around three to five dollars so we're covering our costs in this case and for every additional product we're going to add another three dollars and 97 cents so what we're going to do here is choose north and south america mexico brazil and the russian federation these are the countries that aliexpress will ship to but they will charge us a little bit more so we are going to roll that charge over to the customer which is around $4.97. This is the maximum that we could get charged. So in the worst case, this is what we're going to have to pay. Best case is we're going to make some extra profit over here. And if the customer adds more than the quantity of one, that's going to be a 100% profit margin for us. We're going to charge another $3.97 for each additional quantity, but we won't have to pay that price to AliExpress. So that sums up all of the countries that we can ship to. There's the countries that have free shipping, which is these countries this is the extra profit from those countries and these are countries that cost an extra price to ship to them which we are charging our customers and for any additional quantity that will be a 100 percent profit margin for us that sums up the shipping policies but we still need to end with our exclusion list and these are all of the countries which we cannot ship to so first we're going to click on the edit exclusion list uncheck everything here that's been checked okay so i did a little bit of cleaning 
everything has been unchecked the only countries that we checked in so far which we do not want to ship to is these three up here and under international countries we're going to click on show all countries under asia and we're going to click in china and hong kong two countries that we do not want to ship to then click on hide all countries and same thing for central america and caribbean click on show all countries scroll down to puerto rico check that in because we do not want to ship over there and that's it regarding our exclusion list scroll down and see that po boxes is also checked in which is a part of our exclusion list then click on apply that's it regarding setting the shipping locations for aliexpress it may seem a little bit intimidating at first but after you do it once you'll see that it's actually pretty simple and everything here makes sense now scroll down click on save and that is all now when you're adding products from aliexpress we have our payment options we have our shipping options and we have a return option so all of our policies are created and we are ready to go adding products and connecting them with our policies now let's go ahead and do just that let's start adding products from aliexpress to our ebay stores and i'm going to show you a few methods where you can save a lot of time while you're at it whether you're importing products one by one or even if you want to import 10 20 or even hundreds of products at once let's see how we can get that done first thing that you need to do is download and install the AutoDS chrome helper extension so head over to google write down AutoDS helper just those two words and the first result should take you to the AutoDS dropshipping helper extension on the chrome web store so first thing that you want to do is install it by using this button here on the right and you'll also have a link right under this video to get to this page once you download and install the AutoDS dropshipping helper chrome extension the next step is to head over to aliexpress and here we're going to search for an item to add to our stores using the product research methods which we just learned a few minutes ago in this video so let's start by heading over to flash deals here we're going to find a bunch of items that are on sale and are trending and selling hot right now and here is the results for some of the most hottest trending products that are on sale let's go with these led strip lights over here so let's say i want to add this product to my store now once again i can either do it one by one or i can add a whole bunch if i want to go for the whole niche i tried it out already i saw that it's selling well and i want to add as many of them as i can so first let's start with the first option the one click importer which is available once we downloaded and installed that AutoDS chrome helper extension so how do we use that one click importer first you want to make sure that the extension is enabled so i can look down here on the bottom right i'll see the AutoDS circle and when I'm hovering over a product on AliExpress's search function, as you can see, there is an icon up here. This is that one click importer. Once I click on this button, the AutoDS Chrome extension will import this product to my store in just that one click and there's nothing else that I'll have to do. So clicking on that one button importer is one way to import this product to our dropshipping stores. Another way to do it is to click on the product and go inside the product listing. Here, as you can see, right on top of the title, there is an import to AutoDS button. Clicking on that is just the same as clicking outside the listing. It will simply import that product to our stores in just that one click to our draft page where we can continue optimizing the product before publishing it to our stores, having it go live, and then people will be able to see it and buy it. That is how to use the one click importer, whether you're inside the product listing or outside on the search function on any one of your supported suppliers so that is one way to do it now let's talk about the second way to import products when you're doing it one by one you can either select the whole product url or just the product id so let me show you exactly what i mean here is the product's url i can simply copy the whole url head back to AutoDS, click on add products and paste the url right over here now, if I would like to add more products to this import process, I can simply make a line break and add another product URL, line break, another product URL, and so forth. Another way is to grab only the product's ID. So if you know the product ID, you can get it mostly from the URL on top. In this example, this is the product ID. So we can simply double click on that, copy and paste it over here instead of the URL. Now all you have to do is choose the supplier, the region, the advanced options, click on next, 
Start setting all of your import settings, the general settings, pricing, shipping and policy, and then at the end you'll have an option to add the products as a draft, publish it to your store, or schedule to upload it at a future date and time. So in this case we're going to import the product, let's say in two days from now, and let's do it at 2 o'clock a.m. in the morning for this example. Now I'm going to click on next and all of the products that I had in the product URL box or the item ID are going to be added to our store in just those few clicks. And really guys, that is how simple it is. Once we get it, it will be in our draft page and I'll show you that in just a second. Let me show you the third method of adding products to your store and this time we're going to talk about adding multiple products. It can be tens to hundreds to even thousands of products at once in just those few clicks. Let's see how that's done. So let's say we did our product research, we added products to our stores and we finally started hitting some sales. We found a good niche and we want to hold on to this niche that we found. And the way to expand once you find winning products is to add as many of them as you can, similar products, products with different features but look the same, different sizes, different colors. Look for anything that resembles that same product but a different variation of it. So let's say we did that, we did our product research and we found a niche. Now we want to add as many products as we can from that niche. And let's say in this example, it's that LED strip light niche. So I'm going to search on AliExpress for LED strip lights. Now here's all the wonderful results. We want to add all of them to our stores, but we only want to add the products that are coming from good sellers, products that won't cause us any problems, sellers that know their job and how to work, that will ship out their items quickly and that have good reviews. Up here in the filter section, the first thing that we're going to filter is four stars and up. We don't want to see any products that have below four stars because those are not good products. They could cause some problems, whether it be the shipping speed or item that is described. We don't want to put up with those products. So only four stars and up. Free shipping is also a great option to have, but either way, if you have that shipping option set in your supplier's pricing settings, then AutoDS can simply take the shipping price, add it to the product's price, give you the profit that you want, and add free shipping on your listings. You can also choose where you want to ship the products from. So if you want to look for fast shipping to the US, from the US to the US, you can choose only warehouses from the United States or Turkey or China. In this case, let's keep all of them. And if we scroll down, we can see that all of these products have four stars and above and lots of them have been sold. 2,200 over here, almost 8,000 over here, another 2K here, 3,000 here. So these are really the best sellers of those LED strip lights. We researched this niche and we want all of it. So what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page so that all of the items will load up. And then remember that AutoDS circle that we talked about after you install that extension. Now we are going to click on it. And as you see, this little window popped up. We're going to click on the extract button and what just happened is all of the 60 products that we have on the AliExpress search page have just loaded up onto the AutoDS helper extension. Now what we're going to do is click on export as CSV and all of those products inside the extension have just been extracted into the CSV file that was downloaded onto my computer. Now I don't even need to open that file. The only thing that I need to do is head back to AutoDS and as I can see here it already finished creating that draft from the LED strip light where I copied the URL and showed you guys how to use also the one click importer. So as you can see, it's already here on our stores and it's going to be in the draft section in the schedule tab because I scheduled to upload it two days from now. So if I click on scheduled, here it is scheduled to be imported to our stores two days from now. Today's April 11th, so it's going to be on April 13th. This is the product's title scheduled for when we're going to import it to our store the destination which store it's going to, so the eBay store that I call Chopaholics. Here we can add an internal product note. The supplier is AliExpress China, and this product has 192 variants inside. So if we click on view source product, we're going to see that product on AliExpress. And if we click on this arrow, we can start optimizing this product. Here are the things that we can optimize. The product's title, which category it belongs to, we can also add a product tag and this is definitely good if we're going to add a lot of products so that later on we can always check out the product tag, open up all of those products and see how this niche performed. So in this example, I'll create a niche called LED strip lights. I'm going to click on the plus to add that tag. And now I'll have this tag forever. Every time I'll add a product from LED strip lights, I'll tag it with this tag. 
and once again later on open up your led strip lights tag and that way you'll see only those products and see how that niche performed optimize and multiply your success from there next we can set our policies payment shipping returns we talked about all of that the item location where we're shipping from to enable the stock monitoring price monitoring auto ordering and you can also edit the product's description you can edit the product's variants which in this case we have a 192 variants which imported to our store really easily in just one click so imagine how much time we saved by simply using that one click importer and getting all of the product with all of its variants inside our store and here you can click on edit to edit the variants properties its price the break even the variance color the default quantity its weight and so forth so everything is customizable everything is under your control here we also have the images tab with the variance images and of course the item specifications where you can edit add delete and do whatever you need with the item specs add as much as possible that's always my recommendation to get more people that will search and see your item using filters there's a lot of customers who search on ebay by searching with the keyboard which is great but many of them also use the filtering options and if you don't use the item specifications they simply will not get to your product so definitely use item specifications and as you can see AutoDS pulls as much information as possible from the supplier and that is a really brief description on how to optimize your product page make sure to do it so that you will stand out more from your competitors but once again one click importer that's how simple it is hundreds of variations inside no problem whatsoever now let's go back to talking about adding those multiple products that we have in that csv file that we exported using the AutoDS helper extension so now we're going to add products again and now let's add those 60 products that we just talked about so what we're going to do now is click on upload a csv and here we can drag and drop this csv file that was downloaded onto our computer you can also click on it to open your file browser window navigate to that csv file double click on it processing csv and file is uploaded just one second later now we're going to choose the right settings so the supplier here is aliexpress the region is china choose whatever advanced options you want then start your import configuration process your general settings pricing settings shipping and policies and again in the last section we're going to either add them as a draft publish to our stores or schedule to add them at a later date and time once we are done with that we're going to click on next the products have already started the import process into the draft section of our store and look how fast it is going up while i speak so that is how simple it is once again to add one ten hundreds or even thousands of products at once in just a few clicks now you can imagine just how much time this is going to save you when compared to doing it manually and if you want to scale and you want to make it to the high numbers the more winning listings that you'll have up in the air the more sales that you'll have and the more profit that you'll make at the end of the month so remember the more products the better but do your product research and work really hard on this section if you won't put in the right work into your product research the rest of your time will be wasted so use the strategies that i gave you in this video and while i just finished this last sentence we just almost finished adding all of those 60 products to our stores and really guys that took less than one minute on the clock if you take out all of the time it takes me to talk and explain these things so this is really an amazing way to do it i cannot recommend anything better to save more time and be able to scale our store successfully and of course keep the price monitoring and stock monitoring and even enable order automation which is the next thing that i would like to talk about how to automate our orders once we start to get them finally let me show you exactly what i mean so one way to fulfill your orders is of course doing it the manual way by logging into aliexpress adding the item to the cart and checking out on aliexpress using the customer's shipping address what you're going to do here is simply purchase the product as if you're purchasing it for yourself but instead of using your own address you're going to ship it to the customer's address now this is great if you have a couple of orders a day it's no problem at all but if you want to scale and once you start to scale and you start getting 10 15 20 30 50 orders a day and more you will not be able to do it manually all of your time will go on that and you won't be able to scale and expand your business any further that is why we came up with the auto ordering service which simply fulfills all of your orders for you and there are two automatic ordering methods that we have here in AutoDS. the first one is semi automation which will require your aliexpress buyer account your credit cards and your payment methods 
AutoDS will simply log into your buyer account and purchase the products for you to your customer's addresses. You won't have to do anything about it, but it will be using your own buyer accounts and your payment methods. So you do have to have the credit line at the bank. You do have to see what's going on with your credit line and managing your cash flow at the end of the month is a little bit more difficult when you have a whole bunch of expenses on your credit cards and you have expenses and money coming in on PayPal and you need to combine all of them, which I'm sure is making your finances much harder to deal with at the end of the month. Then we have the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, which is a much better automated ordering service, which does not log into your accounts. We don't need your buyer accounts and we do not need your credit cards. AutoDS has their own buyer accounts and AutoDS will use their buyer accounts to fulfill your orders. You just need to make sure that you have a balance on your account and you need to enable the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. Let me show you quickly exactly how that's done. So in order to opt into the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, or if you want to go with the semi-automation settings, there is a full explanation on how to do it on the help section of our website. So check that out and I'll also leave a few links below to get to those explanations quickly. But really quickly, what you wanna do is head over to the settings and under the plans and add-ons, make sure that you have the orders processor enabled. Once the order processor is enabled, go to your settings and under AliExpress China, click on the orders tab and here enable the process orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service. Also, you can enable the automatic orders so that we will fulfill your orders right away as soon as they come in and you won't have to come and take any action in order for that order to be fulfilled, whether manually or automatically. So again, more information on the help section of our website. So go check that out if you haven't opted in yet and you're interested in doing so. I highly recommend it for scaling and for profiting more. At the end of each month, there is no better way to do it. We need to fully automate our businesses as much as possible. The more automation, the more sales, the more profits. Remember that product research is something that we do need to work hard on. It's hard to automate product research. And even if you do not have time for product research, here's another quick tip for adding products. So we talked about using all kinds of methods for product research, but if you really don't have the time and you want AutoDS to help you with that too, that is no problem whatsoever. Click on add products on the AutoDS platform and then click on the AutoDS Finder tab right here. And what the Finder does is it scans millions and millions of sellers and it finds their best selling products and adds them to your store. This is another way to get great product ideas and start adding similar products to those that are selling. And this is simply automated for you the whole way. You don't need to do anything except for telling AutoDS what type of item you want it to find and add to your stores, whether those that sold three times in the last month, five times in the last month or eight times in the last month, select the amount that you would like to add and click on next. And here you will go through the same import process, the same configuration settings. And at the end, what I would recommend to do is to make it a recurring upload, as you can see down here. And what this does is it goes through the same process every day. So if we went for 20 items that sold three times in the last month, it's going to add those products every day at 2 o'clock p.m. as we can see over here and we can choose if we want to add them as a draft and not publish them to our stores yet if we want to optimize them before but this is a great way for AutoDS to add winning products to your store every single day at the same time and this will help you get going with your product research if you do not have the time for that but you still want to succeed at it so going back to where we were automatic orders let's go to the orders page and see what that looks like and here's the orders page right over here as you can see we have a few order statuses when an order comes in it starts in the pending status and if you enabled automatic orders not just to fulfill by AutoDS, but also to fulfill them as soon as they come in the orders will not start in pending they will start in the order processing status but if you did enable the fulfilled by AutoDS service but not automatic orders which means do not process the order as soon as it comes in the orders will start in the pending process as you can see over here and you will have to click on it and send it to auto order. Now, as you can see, it switched to in order progress, which is what you will get if you would have had the automatic orders enabled and not just a fulfilled by AutoDS. And as you can see, once the product ships out, it turns to shipped. And once it gets to the customer's address, it will switch to delivered. Now, you don't need to switch any order statuses once the automation process has begun. So in order progress is the first status we're going to get. Then we're going to get ordered once the order is sent out and we have an order number from our supplier. AutoDS will update it 
on the AutoDS system. As soon as the product ships out, AutoDS will switch the status from order to shipped with the tracking number updated on AutoDS and with the tracking number updated on your eBay stores. You don't need to do one thing. Another thing that we're going to get here is automatic messages to our customers, which is something that you want to set in the settings page of AliExpress, which I will show you in just a minute. And the last status that you have is canceled. So if the order hasn't been sent yet and you want to cancel it, you don't want AutoDS to process it. Simply move it to canceled and AutoDS will move this order out of the automated order service. It will not try to order it for you. Now, if the order was already processed, but not shipped yet and the customer wishes to cancel the order, there is another status which is called request to cancel which you can use over here click on an order that has been ordered but not shipped yet and as you can see there is a request to cancel option what you want to do is click on request to cancel and as you can see it switched to request return now we're going to wait and see the result that we're going to get which is going to be either the order has been cancelled successfully and you got your refund and you can send a refund to the customer or it's too late to cancel this order. We already tried to cancel it with the supplier. It was not possible. The order is about to be shipped or shipped already. And the customer needs to wait to receive this item. And then you can send him a return label if he still wishes to return it. Now, if a customer received the product, it's already in their hands. And now they wish to open a return. That's no problem. Same thing as before. Click on the order status and click on request return. Now, what's going to happen here is the AutoDS system is going to go to your supplier. It's going to open up that order and it's going to ask for a return label. If it will be approved, you'll have the print label right here on the side, ready to be downloaded. And all you have to do is download and send it to your customer and tell him to send the product back with that return label. And if the return request will not be approved, you'll need to hover over the red exclamation mark and see exactly why this return was not approved. In this example, the return window is already closed, which means we had a 30 day return window and let's say 40 or 50 days passed. So we tried to open a return request with a the supplier. They rejected for that reason. And that is exactly the reason that we're seeing here. So as you can see, everything here is pretty much done automatically for you. There is minimal effort to do on your side and maximum results to be had from using these automation settings. So automatic order processing is something that I definitely recommend to do. If you guys want to scale your stores and hit it to do numbers at the end of the month, there is no way to scale successfully if you're doing everything manually. Now, the last thing that you'll need to remember to have is a balance on your AutoDS system. Once you have fulfilled by AutoDS balance, AutoDS will use that balance to fulfill your orders since they're not using your buyer accounts. They need some way to pay for these orders. They're going to pay using the balance that you have loaded onto your account. So click on the icon up here, click on load balance and load balance through PayPal or through Payoneer, whatever suits you best. Choose whatever is good for you. Click on load balance. Once you have that balance in and you have auto order credits, you can start processing those orders. Once you have that balance in, you can start processing those orders. And if you're using even more suppliers like Amazon and so forth, make sure that you have auto order credits to pay for each credit. Each one only costs a few cents and the automation will begin and there will be nothing left to do on your side. So that is how simple it is to process your orders automatically and process your returns automatically, update tracking numbers on AutoDS and on your eBay stores, let the customers know what's going on. Everything, once again, super automated, saving you as much time as possible. Another thing that I would like to talk about once you're using the auto orders from AliExpress is to enable automatic orders to your buyers once they purchase from your store, once there's tracking available, after they receive their products and so forth. Let me show you how to do that. On the AutoDS platform, click on settings, then click on your supplier. In our case right now, it's AliExpress China. And then click on the orders tab where we enabled the fulfilled by AutoDS service. And let's also enable to process each order automatically as soon as it comes in. And here we have the automatic messages to the clients once we scroll down. So first there's the message that they're going to get as a gift with the product itself where you can add a custom note. So you can write whatever you want here by editing the message over here. Then we want to enable the rest of the options that we have over here. The first one is to give the buyer a feedback with a custom message from you, the seller. So again, you can click on the pencil icon each time to edit whatever you want inside that message and make it your own custom message. Then there's a message for when the order was placed. So as soon as you place an order, you can send the customer a message. Better yet, AutoDesk will automatically send your customer this message that you can customize. 
and if you can see over here inside you have triggers so you can use these triggers and auto ds will simply replace it with whatever that trigger is in this example dear by your first name so it's going to say dear john in, the, in this example if his name is john and you can continue by also adding the buyer's last name by clicking it here so dear john smith put the comma in the end your order is being processed and will be shipped soon. You can add more triggers like product title, store's name, tracking number, shipping carrier. This you don't have yet at this stage, but you'll have it in the other messages. Feedback URL to leave a feedback and so forth. So you already have custom messages that AutoDS has already customized for you as a default and you can change it around and do whatever you want with these messages. The next one after the order was placed, there's an automatic message for once there's a tracking number available. So as soon as your order moves from order to shipped, your customer is going to receive another message, which is this custom message. So you can choose to keep it as it is or customize it to whatever you see fit. Just make sure that you have it enabled over here. And once the order was delivered, another message that your customer will get, enable this one customize the message or leave it as it is because it really is fine as it is and click on save so now each customer is going to receive messages after placing an order on our shop and this will not only improve the customer experience and get them to trust us more in our store and in our brands but will also get much higher feedback we'll get more feedback this way and our dropshipping stores will continue to grow the last thing that I would like to talk about is how to manage returns and refunds if you're not using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service and you're doing everything manually. So if you have a return request on AliExpress, one of your customers wishes to return the product, what you need to do is log into AliExpress, go to your order section. If you are in the return window, you will have the dispute option. But in any case, what I always recommend to do first is to try to contact the seller and try to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with him and see if they can help you solve this problem without having to ask AliExpress to intervene. If the seller on AliExpress does not respond within 24 to 48 hours, then you should open a dispute on AliExpress. Again, you will have the option to do it in your order section. I can show you my order section on AliExpress, but I don't have a dispute option because enough time has passed since I have shipped out these orders. And so therefore I do not have the dispute option, but I can contact the seller, let him know that something is wrong, wait for them to reply, and then open the dispute on AliExpress. If you want to save all this trouble, and once again, I highly recommend that you do, simply use the Fulfilled by AutoDS service and you won't have to worry about using return labels or even using your own credit cards and credit line. That sums up this video explanation on how to drop ship from AliExpress to eBay the right way, using the right product research methods, the right shipping and return policies, and knowing how to take good care of our customers, scale our businesses, use automation settings and really hit it to those new numbers that I'm pretty sure you never thought would be possible until you really tried it out, really put your butt on the line, put in the time and effort, and I guarantee that you will start seeing results. Once again, guys, if you are new here, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on the latest and hottest topics that are coming out in the dropshipping industry. We always have them coming out on the latest products, the latest suppliers and marketplaces. We're also always adding in new suppliers and we always want to know what features you guys want to see on AutoDS. So head over to feedback.autods.com. There you'll have a system called Upvoting where you can tell us which feature you want to see next on AutoDS. People will be able to vote for your feature that you wanted to see and you will also be able to vote on other features that you see there that you also agree that needs to be on AutoDS and we will listen. AutoDS wouldn't be what it is today without you guys. So let us know what's up and we will listen and implement. Thank you for watching. Good luck with AliExpress. See you in the future videos.